Hey guys, this is chapter 2, section 4, I believe. And this section is going to be all about arrays and loops. So let's start with arrays. An array is pretty much global to all programming languages. Um, what an array is, is it's basically a, a container for to hold more than one variable. So we can give an array a name and it can have as many values as we want. So I'm going to start out with just creating a simple array. It's going to be called my numbers. So to assign values to our array, we're going to just say equal, and then arrays will always be in these brackets. Uh, all of our values that we want to be in the my numbers array will be in these brackets. So I'm just going to put some random numbers. Okay. So now if we press enter we'll see it just shows us the our, our array that we just created so each of these is a value or an index um, for the my numbers array and each value or number or um, index or whatever you want to call it each one has a position number and one thing if you're going to take one thing from this section it, it's that arrays start at zero the first index or the first value of any array is always in the position 0. So it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So always remember that. It's very important. Um, so now we can actually call and find a value by its position. So we can do that. Let's just print out on the screen um, the my numbers array. And then we have these brackets. And then in the middle is where we put our position. So, like I said, they start at zero. So if we put zero, it's going to be twelve because twelve is at the it's the first position and it's at zero. If we do print my numbers and then we want let's say this the two position two, it's going to give us twenty two, which is the third one because it goes zero one two. Okay, so just it's very important to remember that arrays and most other things in programming usually start at zero. All right, so an array is also an object, so we can use raw, um, object methods on it. So, for instance, we can say my numbers dot sort. So the the object is my numbers. It's an array. It's an object. And then sort is a method which does something. What it does is sort the array. And you'll see it it gives us the array. Excuse me. It gives us the array sorted. So it goes. Uh, it's numerically increasing. Um, and we can use other other uh, methods as well. Let's say my numbers dot reverse because reverse is another method it gives us the array with uh, the values reversed so it starts at 33 here it ends at 33 here and we can actually also just print out the entire array and that will just print out all the values in the array um, now arrays aren't limited to integers or numbers we can also use strings so uh, for instance let's say states and here we're going to be using state abbreviations which are, are going to be strings so for strings we have to use double quotes okay so we'll say mass new hampshire um, connecticut i'll just do all the new england states rhode island vermont and maine so, and enter. So now we have an array called states, which holds these six states, the abbreviations. Um, and we can do the same thing. We can print all of them. Uh, we can print uh, from a, a position, let's say one. Uh, oh, the array name would help. States one. And it gives us New Hampshire, which is the second one, but remember, it's 0, 1. So I'm going to clear this out. And now I want to show you something called hash, hashes. And 
Um, if, if you've had experience with PHP and some other languages, um, they don't, instead they have associative arrays, but they're basically the same thing. It, it's, a, it's like an array, except it doesn't only have a value. It doesn't only have multiple values, but it also has keys with the values. So let me show you an example. Let's create a hash called user. And instead of using brackets like we would with an array, we're going to use curly braces. So in here, we want to define our key value pairs. So let's create a key called first name. And you should be able to use double quotes if you want. Now the key, we need to point the key to the value. So we're going to use the equal sign and then the greater than sign. And remember, these are strings, so we need quotes. So first name, we'll say John. So that's a, a, a key value pair. If we want to add more, we put a comma, and then we just add more. So let's say last name. Last name will be Smith. Okay. Uh, was the other curly brace? Did I delete it? Looks like I deleted the other one. So make sure those are wrapped in curly braces and press enter. Now you can see we have a, a hash. It created a hash with two key value pairs. Now to print out a certain value, uh, it's a little funny because you don't use the the curly braces when printing. You print it like it, like it's an array value. So we would say print user and then we have brackets like it was an array and then we would put the key in so first name and it prints out John so that's how you print out individual values keys and va uh, yeah values and we can also use methods on a hash we could say user sort and it'll sort it uh, alphabetically and what else could we do? We could get the size. We could do user dot size, and it tells us we have two key value pairs. Now we can also actually create an array and have hashes as each value. So let me give you an example. Let's create, we'll call it user again, but we're gonna change it. We're gonna make user an array. All right, so in the array, we're gonna have two values and each one of those value is going to be a hash so for the first value we're going to create a hash with the curly braces like we did above and we'll say for the hash key is first name and I'll space it out so you guys can see it better first name will be John again alright and now we're still in the hash so the second key value in the hash will be last name and we'll give that a value of Smith just remember to use the quotes so now what we have here is an array called user and we have one value in the array which is a hash which has two key picked key value pairs in that one array value um, it's a little intimidating at first but it's actually really simple when you really think about it so let's give this array another value of another hash. So in this hash, we'll have, again, first name. And this time, the first name will be Brad. And comma to separate the, the next key value pair of the hash. And we'll call this last name and we'll give it my last name Travisy and that should be it for this so remember we have an array called users with two values and each value is a hash that has two key value pairs uh, let me just look this over and we shouldn't have two curly braces right here uh, did I miss it over here yeah I didn't I didn't um, attach the ending curly brace on the first hash Whoop. all right so that should be good um, all right so let's run that and now it looks like we have 
the hashes in the array. So let we can call this, let's say user in position zero. So position zero gives us the hash, the John Smith hash. Uh, we can say we can say user one and it gives us the Brad hash. Alright. If we did user three, whoop, or user two rather, it gives us nothing because we don't have a, a, a third position in that array. All right. So that's the basics for um, arrays and hashes. Well, we're running out of time here, so I want to jump right into loops. Um, a loop is basically a block of code that you want to run a certain amount of times. Um, and I will show you some examples. Let's just clear this. Now you can clear it with system with the sim sorry the system method, and just pass an argument of CLS, and that should clear your interactive Ruby screen. So I'd like to start with um, showing you the times method, which is a looping method. Uh, so we could say five dot times. Remember, five is a number which is an object which has methods, so it has the time the times method. Um, five dot times do puts um, we use double quotes here and we'll say this is an awesome series okay and then end and you'll see it types it out five times now this might look a little weird to you um, if you used other programming languages this do and end but if this confuses you all you have to think of which you can actually use in Ruby as well is do is the opening curly brace and end is the the closing curly brace so we could do instead of do just put a, uh, an opening curly brace and then in place of end put the closing curly brace and it does the same thing. And remember, puts is just a, a um, command that'll tell us to print it out to the screen. So that's what it did. And we also have a method called up to, which will reiterate something up to a certain amount. So let's say, let's start with three. Okay, so on three, which is a, an integer, which is an object, we can do the up to method and this method takes one argument and that's the the number that you want to go up to so we'll say 10 all right so we get 3 up to 10 so that's what we want to run whatever we put in between these these um, curly braces and remember you could also use do and end instead of the curly braces but I prefer these over the over the do and end so what do we want to do from 3 to 10 well let's just put Let's put um, uh, whatever. Um, let's count. Okay, so enter, and you'll see what it did is it started at three and went up to ten. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's basically uh, seven. You know, three to ten is obviously seven. So that's another uh, method we could use to do loops. So we also have a down to method. So if we go over here and change this to down to, uh, let's change. We'll change this to a nine. We'll say nine down to two. Okay. So now it goes from nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So that's the down to method. So if you have if you have any other programming language experience, then you probably know what a while loop is, and it just says while something is true, execute this block of code. So let me give you a, a simple example. So we want to say why. Actually, first we want to define some variables. We're going to define x as zero, and then we're going to have a variable called limit, which will give the value of 7. 
So we have two variables, x, which is 0, and limit, which is 7. So now we're going to say while, we're going to say while x is less than limit. Okay, so if we do this, while x is less than limit, you can see this change to a 1. That means we're inside the loop. Okay, so in the loop, we just want to echo out, I mean, puts out the x, the value of x. All right, so while x is less than 7, then print out x. Now, we want to, we want to increase x or else it's going to be an infinite loop because x is always going to be less than 7 as it is 0. So what we want to do is increase x by 1 every iteration. So we're going to say x plus equals 1. So what the plus equals does is it just, it just brings it up just 1. And it'll do that every iteration through the loop. So, and now we just want to end. All right, so if we hit enter, this is what happened. It printed out the value of x all the way up to 6 because we have a limit of 7. Okay, and we want it while x is less than 7. That's why it doesn't even have the 7 because it's less than. It's not less than or equal to. And again, it always starts at 0. So that's a simple while loop. So there's one more loop that I want to show you and that's the each loop and it's used for um, looping through array values so I'm gonna actually clear my screen alright so so the first thing we want to do to do the each statement is cr actually create an array so I'm just gonna create an array called planets which will hold strings so we'll say earth um, Saturn, Mars, and Mercury. Okay, so we have an array of planets. Now, what we want to use the each loop for is to go through and, and get each value and display it on the screen. So we're going to say planets dot each, all right, and then we're going to have curly braces, and in the curly braces we're going to have we're going to create a variable x which we need to put in between two pipes. So a pipe is the the key that's above the enter key on your keyboard, and in between there we're going to give it an x, all right. And now here is what we will put what we want to do with it what we want to happen and we just want to put x so here x is taking the place for each value okay so now if we press enter it does what we said puts x so at the first value is earth okay that's x then then the next iteration is Saturn and then Mars and then Mercury so that's how we can actually grab arrays and in go through each value and execute code dealing with only the single values of the array. So I think that's that's a good place to stop. Um, that's the basics of arrays and hashes and loops. Um, but we will definitely be revisiting these these things, these aspects of Ruby throughout the, the rest of the series. So next up we have objects and classes. So I will see you in that video.